Hey folks, so this is the May 2018 Gentleman's Box unboxing. Uh, Gentleman's Box, the current gold standard for the men's subscription boxes. Um, of course, the men's subscription boxes, the sole survivors of the subscription box massacre last month. Uh, I've pretty much cut out all of the Geek boxes. I'm going to give the Geek Fuel EXP box one opportunity to make an impression. Based on the preview pieces I've seen, I don't think that's going to happen. So you could basically say you are looking at the best of the best. So the, the big question is, what does this box do better than the others? And what they do is, it's kind of a creative thing. Uh, so what they'll do is they will choose some Thor, some st Thor, wow, uh, some sort of a metaphorical theme. Um, you know, usually honoring our favorite blank. And what they do is they find accessories and items that curate around that particular theme. So, um, of course, as always, I've been avoiding social media to avoid the... S okay, spoilers. Uh, honoring our favorite Detroit designer. And, of course, I'm loving... I'm loving just, I mean, the shoes alone. Uh, of course... One of the things about Gentleman's Box, they're also based out of Detroit, or at least a Detroit suburb. So, uh, let's see what we have here. This month, we are excited to honor a gentleman who shares our Michigan-based roots. This former Michigander was born in Detroit and raised in the nearby suburb of Allen Park. He also attended school at the prestigious University of Michigan. Growing up in the musically influential city of Detroit has certainly had a positive and lasting impact effect on our honoree. His love of rock and roll is a major part of his brand to this day. Indeed, some of his advertisements have featured popular artists such as Kiss, Willie Nelson, Green Day, and The Roots. He also entered into a partnership with Republic Records in 2014. Well, he's alive, unfortunately. No clues yet. Uh, shortly before graduating from high school in 1980, our honoree began working at a men's clothing store called Hughes and Hatcher. After his graduation, he co-founded Fitzgerald's Men's Store, a men's clothing store based in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He continued his fashion education at the world-renowned Fashion Institute of Technology in New York, New York. Our honoree's career really took off while working for designers such as Ralph Lauren and Calvin Klein. While he was at Calvin Klein, our honoree invented an article of clothing it was a cross between boxer shorts and briefs. His creation became known as the popular boxer briefs and was even worn by Mark Wahlberg in a series of print ads in the 1990s. In the early 2000s, our honoree debuted his own fashion line in New York, and a few months later he opened his first storefront in the fashion-forward Soho neighborhood. So, the dude invented boxer briefs. I'm, I'm already down. I'm, I'm in with this honoree. That was like the staple. Obviously, you can't see it because, well, you know, if you did, YouTube would flag the video and I'd lose the channel. But just assume there are boxer briefs on. Um, Duluth Trading is kind of my, my go-to for boxer briefs these days. Uh, our music-savvy, highly fashionable honoree is also quite the philanthropist. For the past 14 years, he has hosted a celebrity charity fundraiser and live auction to benefit the Rape Foundation, a group that raises funds and awareness for victims of sexual assault. With almost 30 storefronts, a collaboration with Converse Shoes, a celebrity mentor spot on fashion stars, and a highly successful charity, our honoree is one well-rounded gentleman, and with good reason, our favorite Detroit designer. I don't have a damn idea who he is. N nothing there kind of came to light. So, let's, let's see what we've got in here. What we have that is honoring our favorite Detroit designer. Oh my god! Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to make you wait on that for a bit. So the first thing we have is a brush from Stolen Riches since 1915. And I'm, I'm going to own this. I, I am by no means the men's grooming expert. I want to say this is kind of a, a hair and a beard brush. My god, this actually feels pretty damn good. So, if, if you are a frequent viewer to the channel, and I understand I also kind of have the dark background, um, I, I am actually in the process of attempting yet the umpteenth million regrow of my ponytail, which means I'm going to have a long, arduous, painful two years where I'm constantly wrestling with self-doubt 
and looking at older pictures. Um, so at least for the time being, I guess at least with the beard, my God, this feels amazing. Um, I, I have a brush to work with. Now, you know, once once the hair gets a little longer, I'm gonna need some good firm nylon bristles, but that's probably at least six to eight months away. So I'm liking this. Uh, you know, the the bristles are actually pretty soft on the face, not a lot of scratching. Now, of course, watch. I'm going to go through and read the. Uh, the spoiler book, and it's going to be a shoe shine brush. That's just my luck, but let's see. So I am assuming that is a head brush, we'll call it, just because I have so much. It's not just hair. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I think I may have just embarrassed myself by rubbing my face with a shoe brush, uh, because the next thing we have is Cobbler Concierge. Composition 30% wax, 30% castor oil, 30% turpentine, uh, so is it a shoe? I know it's a shoe polish. I guess the billion dollar question is, what color is the shoe polish? Of course, wouldn't you know I open this the day that I trim my fingernails and I have like absolutely no nail to get in there. There, there we go, there we go. There, well, maybe, maybe, all right, now it's caught. Well, ha, victory! Oh yeah, that, 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 that is definitely a shoe polish. It, it is a clear shoe polish, and that was my big fear and question. Uh, you know, one of my memories of childhood. Um, I, I can't remember if I've really spoken about this at length or not, but my father was an attorney. So yeah, I, dad wasn't the best role model for like teaching me to dress and groom, but I just kind of learned by observing. And one of the things that I remember in his closet, he had a shoe box filled with tins of shoe polish, and he had another shoe box filled with torn up t-shirts uh, that he had used uh, to clean the polish off. And I'm really thinking now, I'm thinking I just spent two minutes grooming myself with a shoe shine brush and gushing about how amazing it felt. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Our next item, I'm making you wait, just because I'm a bastard. Um, Pacific Issue, uh, some socks. Before we, <laughs> I'm giving it the calf test. So again, if you're a, uh, a newer viewer, uh, one of my big concerns is always as somebody who is still obese, I, I think maybe morbid, I'm, I'm hanging at 275 right now, once upon a time. Okay, fine, January, uh, I was 355 pounds. Actually, you know, the calves on this feel pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna get some kind of compression, even the, uh, the diabetic socks that I was wearing um, leave a, leave a ring, but I, I may give these a try. So Pacific issue is the sock and the pattern is just, it's kind of this fun geometric pattern, uh, a little orange in there, some gray, some black, some white, some teal, um, very fun summery colors, very light, very well done, very season appropriate. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Just because I'm making y'all wait. Yes. Oh my God. Hi. I'm I'm incredibly stupid. You got to watch me rub a shoe shine brush all over my head for two minutes. Uh, we we have a bag from Cobbler Concierge, which I'm pretty sure shoes go into, uh, or at least the shoe shine stuff goes into. Uh, just standard burlap bag. And of course we have. Maybe. There we go. A pair of shoelaces. A pair of shoelaces. Hey, there's the branding right there from Noble Soul. Uh, these are kind of a nice red. You know, again, great idea for summer. You know, summer, spring, always the time for color. You know, put these on like a nice deep, dark brown. The red kind of works with the brown. Um, so this, this was what... I was gushing about, and I, I have a friend of mine on Twitter uh, who, who was just marveling at a floral print tie that I got in another product recently. And this, my God, I saw this. This, this is, this is fantastic. This is gorgeous. This is amazing. I, I if I can't get a good solid design from a tie, um, I, I will always gush over a solid print. Um, stripes, other patterns like that, you know, they're, they're a little safe because, you know, they're just, they're always there. But man, 
just a kick-ass floral design. And by the way, who made this? Uh, Barry Boak, B-A-R-R-Y-B-E-A-U-K. Knot it up is what it says in the back. Um, the material, very, very, very thin material. Um, I'm loving this tie. Uh, you know, I mean, it just... It, it just brings something, you know, even just up against this kind of standard blue Oxford shirt. This is this is an amazing tie. I'm loving this. Um, I'm still feeling stupid and foolish because of the brush thing, but let's um, let's do a recap here, and we'll put everything back in the box, and we'll wrap up. So, oh yeah, I, every bloody time, I always forget. So this is one of the things that again. Gentleman's Box always does well. Um, the guide not only talks about what's inside the respective box, but it kind of gives a little bit of a guide to how to wear it. So in other words, you know, everything is themed around the designer, uh, but, you know, everything is also designed to kind of, you know, here's how you wear this. So, you know, with the tie, you know, I, I might kind of informalize it a bit, but that's just me, but it gives you, you know, what to wear it with, the style, um, complementing colors over here with the socks again, the style from you know semi formal all the way up through very formal, complementing colors. Uh, so let's go ahead and start to pack things up here. Uh, so again, the tie from Barry Bow, the amazing, gorgeous floral print tie. I, I'm pretty sure one person on Twitter is going to watch this and gush about it. And if you're gushing about it, you can buy this box. You can subscribe. You can have this tie. Um, ties to retail thirty-five dollars. Uh, the Pacific issue socks. A retail of fifteen. Ah, oh, my new signifier of shame. The stolen riches shoe brush, which just by the way still feels amazing. I'm I'm gonna own my stupidity here. Uh, you know, like I said, Dad never really taught me much about taking care of shoes, uh, so I'm I'm gonna plead ignorance here. Uh, and my God, this this does feel amazing still. I didn't put anything on it, so I can do this. Um, the shoe brush is twenty dollars. Uh, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm assuming synthetic bristles. Uh, the Cobby and the co Cobbler Concierge. Hey, look at that. I'm even holding it up right. Uh, shoe polish, $10. The shoe bag, also from Cobbler Concierge, at 15 And finally, from Noble Soul, the shoelaces for $10. Just kind of finishing things out here. Uh, so they have the summer playlist from the various folks in the office. Uh, the rebuilding of Detroit. So, you know, I, I have to say, um, if you've been watching these for a while, you know, I have roots in Michigan. Um, I was born and raised in one of the suburbs of Flint. Uh, I still have several relatives around there. Um, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. Uh, you know, my, my home is quite literally disintegrating and crumbling. Um, you know, I, I went home, I, I took my husband's home to visit my family this past August, uh, and just, you know, driving around, seeing just the wreckage and the remains of places that, you know, 30 years ago when I was a kid, you know, like my last high school, um, boarded up, uh, condemned, um, you know, even some of the neighborhoods where, you know, I grew up in as a child are, are on the slide. So, you know, uh, the, this rebuilding of Detroit, uh, you know, I'm... From what I'm understanding, it's kind of making a turnaround as this um, kind of bohemian artistic, kind of sounds like a cool place. You know, unfortunately, I don't think I could get back anytime soon. Uh, let's see, the charities we love, Stuart House Charity Benefit, um, the featured member, once upon a time, I think it was about a year ago, was I the featured member? Um, Let's see here. Gentleman's exclusive deal of the month. And then 
the user submitted photo. So there you go, folks. Uh, that is your May gentleman's box honoring our favorite Detroit designer. So at this point in time, uh, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, please, by all means, hit the um, subscription button down there. At this point in time, I've pretty much, you know, again, I've, I've got the, what I think is going to be the final Geek Fuel box, um, just to give them one opportunity to impress me uh, in a subscription field that has been just exceptionally unimpressive for about a year or so. I, I think Nerd Block went down, and everybody else just kind of shat the bed with regards to quality. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with Geek Fuel. But, you know, these days I'm pretty much just running the men's accessories, the men's style stuff. So, you know, you just saw Gentleman's Box, um, Spreza Box I did last week. You know, kind of the, the eh, Spreza Box. Um, Birch Box, it is... I'm making this on May 22nd, so probably I'll see Birch Box rolling through some point in the next three or four days. Um, that's it. You know, again, um, I'm always kind of on the lookout, although I, I have to admit I'm kind of getting in subscription box fatigue, so it's got to be just like a kick-ass amazing box to get me to open my credit card and put money down on it. Uh, but if you got a suggestion, uh, you know, please, by all means, put it down in the comments. I'll give it a look, and if it really just kind of makes me, oh my god, i got to have that, um, yeah, I'll give them a swing. Uh, speaking of comments, if you want to leave some comments, please, by all means, do. I'm, I'm trying, I really am, trying to engage people in the comments. Um, if, if you're awesome and friendly with the comments, I will be awesome and friendly. If you're like that random douchebag who came on the Churches video that I made um, from a show that I saw in April of 2014, uh, you know, I, I saw Churches, I'm, I'm owning it, hipster. I was like, you know, very early adopter with Churches, you know, when they played their first show, South by Southwest in 2013. I was listening to it on Sirius XM, um, you know, when they went on tour to support their first record or album, um, I, I saw them play in Raleigh, and I was like, oh my god, so I, I had to get um, lies on on video, so I kind of knew where it was coming in the playlist. Anyway, some, some random douchebag, four years later, comes in and makes a snarky comment. I was like, really, do, do we need that? So, yeah, I admit it, I'm, I'm trying to be a nicer person, I'm trying to be more gentle, I'm trying to restrain the anger, but shit, man. Somebody comes in in a video you know, that I posted four years ago just to throw shade. Hell no, motherfucker. Uh, so anyway, um, if you leave comments, I, I will mirror the content of the comments you leave. Uh, so there we go, folks. Um, I will see everybody for the next Gentleman's Box. So until then, be good. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there.